Hey YouTubers, Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Today we are working on a 2003 SeaDoo GTX model. We're having a problem with the charging system. Unfortunately the battery keeps going dead and we have removed the battery and we took it in, had it tested and the battery was fine. That leads us to the stator or the regulator or rectifier and we have determined that it is the rectifier so we are going to show you the step-by-step -step on how to replace that. With the 2003 you just removed the seats that is going to give you access to the inner hall where the part is and it's way down here and there are two electrical connection points as you can see right here. Go ahead and disconnect those and to get to the part it's going to be a little tricky we are going to need to remove this air intake portion this plastic that feeds from here down below into the rear so we can start removing this little cover here and just to give you a better picture I'm going to remove this plastic top piece as well now on the opposite side as you can see 10 millimeter bolts there's four of them go ahead and ratchet those out and then down here the intake connection point you just pull that tab be careful because it is plastic you do not want to break it top part is out and I took the whole entire hose out and in here you've got the little tab here you will disconnect that and then you have a 10 millimeter screw here pull this bolt out it's going to allow you to pull it off the actual mount as well as this one here's the example I pulled that out that's what it should look like this is what the bolt looks like removed make sure you do not drop the nut on the end as well as both the washers at this point we have both bolts removed and this little cotter pin down below I'll show you here that is on the actual clip down here as you can see and now you just pull that tab right there up and it's going to give you much better access to the 10 millimeter bolts that connect the rectifier to the actual mount the part is now out and there are two little adapters right here that come out and this portion goes into the engine. Here are those two parts, those again fit in here and that's where we just removed that bolt. There's two of them. Now we have a lot more access to the actual rectifier down below as you can see. On top, 12 millimeter bolt and on the bottom is another 12 millimeter. If we did not remove the part we just did, it would have been literally impossible to get to that bottom bolt. Go ahead and remove those and you can pull this whole rectifier out and off the mount. Rectifier is now removed. Here's the old one. The new one just came in the mail. Here's the electrical connection points that we removed earlier. And again, the locations where the 12 millimeter bolts lock this into place. We are going to reverse the steps and put on the new rectifier. New rectifier is installed and secure. The electrical connections are back in place. And we are going to now put back on the hoses and connect everything as well as the cotter pin. This part is back in. One thing I want to point out is, as you can see, make sure you do reinsert the actual cotter pin or safety clip here. And it goes through these two little holes, as you can see here, and lock that entire part back into place. And now we're going to reinstall the two adapters, one on the rear and one on the front. Both adapters are now back in and secure. As you can see here, next we're going to grab that a hose and this top portion here and we're going to reinsert that and tighten it down. This part right here we are now going to reinsert. Top mount is now on and secure for 10 millimeter bolts. Be careful don't over tighten it. It is going into plastic and the hose is in its proper position. We'll go and reinsert this cap here and we'll put the seats on. From here the regulator or rectifier should be performing its proper duties on the charging system. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, I hope this helps. Do me a favor, turn on your YouTube notifications. By that, every video we upload, you will be able to see, you'll be notified, and you'll be able to stay in tune with us, and that'll be awesome. Thanks again.